A real war is beginning in Russia within Putin's elites. Chechnyan leader Ramzan Kadyrov has accused Russian lawmakers from neighboring Dagestan and Ingushetia regions of plotting to kill him and has threatened them with a blood feud should they fail to prove their innocence. Kadyrov has declared a blood feud against member of the Federation Council of the Russian Federation from Dagestan, Suleiman Kerimov and State Duma deputies Bekan Barakoev and Rizvan Kurbanov. This was reported by the Russian agency, publishing a transcript of the translation of the speech of the head of Chechnya, which was made by a native speaker. The statement about blood feud was made during a meeting between Kadyrov and commanders and heads of the Chechen security forces. In a video published on the Chechen leader's telegram channel, he speaks Chechen. Kadyrov's speech is very confused. There are many unfinished phrases. The translator told agency. However, one can draw an unambiguous conclusion from the speech that he is declaring a blood feud. Firstly, he talks about the shootout in front of the Wildberries office in Moscow. There was Barakoev, Bekan, there was Kerimov, Suleiman, Kurbanov, Rizvan. They have their own business, which they do not only look from my wife. They ordered to kill me. I am officially speaking. I am officially declaring a blood feud against Barakoev, and if he does not prove it, and against Suleiman Kerimov, Kurbanov, Rizvan, because I am a Caucasian. I am Chechen. I am bringing my own back home. Kadyrov also called the gathering of the bodies of the Ingush residents killed during the shootout at the Wildberries office in Moscow a rallies and suggested that the dissatisfied declare a blood feud against him. Today in Chechnya, I lead the Kadyrovites. I am speaking officially. Let anyone say, you, Ramzan, I believe that you are guilty of the death. Your relative or your children are guilty, and I declare a blood feud against you. Let them send a person with this. In the same meeting, Kadyrov also accused the three of being responsible for a September shooting at the Moscow office of Wildberries, Russia's largest online retailer. It's the first time the Chechen warlord, a close ally of Russian President Vladimir Putin, has commented on the shooting in which two ethnic Ingush security guards were killed. The crime took place two months after a merger between Wildberries and another private firm, Rus, in a deal that Russian media said was backed by the president's office in Moscow. Kadyrov has never publicly acknowledged that his men were involved in the shootout.
The main intelligence department of the Ukrainian Defense Ministry has released images showing the launch of the Bober drone to attack the Tkhonskaya military airfield located near the city of Makop in the Russian Republic of Adygea. An explosion and fire occurred at the airfield as a result of a strike by a Ukrainian-made long-range drone. It should be noted that the incident took place on the night of October 10. The operation was carried out by the General Intelligence Service, the Security Service and Special Operations Forces of Ukraine. L-39 training aircraft, Su-30, Su-34, Su-35 and MiG-23 fighters are located at the airfield, which is the location of the 272nd Training Aviation Base.